What are your favorite events or, like, ha parties? Pff, I don't know, that happen during the Christmas season. As I've said in the past, three episodes, I'm a huge fan of Christmas. Actually, I don't think I said that specifically, but something to that point? Would that be the right word? I think, I think that's the right word. But, anyways, one of my favorite things about Christmas, aside from everything else that I mentioned in my past three videos, is all the different events that happen during the Christmas time. Do you have any events that you like happening at Christmas time? I'm struggling for words today. <laughs> I've got a few things that I really like whenever Christmas comes around. First thing I really love is all the Christmas lights. All the people putting up the Christmas lights and then you just like get to go drive in these neighborhoods that have all the cool lights set up. Or, or especially, especially the people who have the really fancy lights that do the dancing with the music, but only whenever it's a family that has good Christmas music. Cause some of them just like, meh. The moving lights are cool, but the music to go with it, not worth it. But some people, they got the they got the good Christmas music and then the good lights and it's like that's that's where it's at. Those are the ones that you want to be going to, sitting in your car at midnight with a popcorn and hot chocolate, just going. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. I love this song. I'm so glad that. It, mm, mm. What do you think about this? It's like that, you know. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things to do during Christmas, which we actually haven't done this year, which is odd. It's very, very odd. Hmm. And Christmas time is also the time where everybody is throwing a party on the exact same Saturday within the same hourish range. So you can't actually go to all of them, but you still want to see everybody at each of those different parties. And even some of those people who are doing the parties are actually friends to others hosting a party. So you're like, why did this happen to where they all scheduled a party with all of the exact same friends on the same day? Because now you just have three different friend groups split up instead of just being like, oh, hey, I saw that you were doing it, invited the same people, all except for like these five. How about I get my extra five people and bring the rest of everybody that we both have in common over and then we'll just have one giant huge party. Does that sound cool? Sure. And like that, it would, it would fix all the problems instead of everybody being everywhere and it, it, it doesn't work. Like today, I, I have a Rutherford Christmas to go to and then some friends invited me to go over to a bonfire, but somebody else has a birthday going on and I know that the person with the birthday is also somewhat familiar with the people who are having the bonfire. So I'm just like, well, couldn't we just like get the people from the bonfire over to the birthday and then I could do both at once and then we can just forget about the Rutherford Christmas because honestly, it's really boring except for the food and even that you can only have so much of because they tell you to uh, leave enough for the rest. But I guess my cousins are at the Rutherford Christmas, so uh, it's not it's not too bad. And there's hot chocolate, so that's always good. I also just really love all the festivals that happen around this time. You know, because there are some where it's like a whole city's like, Oh, come visit us and pay for stuff because we have pretty lights. And we know that you guys are suckers for that. But then you also have like the peoples and the plays and the showrooms and stuff doing these really cool festivals like live bands, beautiful music, beautiful me there. And then also just like the lights set up and sometimes like games or little mazes and then hot chocolate. And it's like they're really, really fun and really unique. But you always need to go with your designated friend who will enjoy it with you because if you go with the humbug, then you're going to get scrooged during Christmas and you don't want to do that because then you're going to have to deck that guy's halls and that's just not the Christmas spirit, you know? It's not in the Christmas spirit. But then you can get hot chocolate afterwards. I already mentioned hot chocolate in this one, didn't I? Oh, well, you get two hot chocolates at this place because the festivals are just so much fun and good. Ooh, ooh, and I almost forgot the special Christmas premieres of films, like old films, like Turner Classic Movies, almost every year plays one to two classic films during December, and this year they had White Christmas, and it was amazing! But last year they actually had two different double features play. They had A Christmas Carol, White Christmas, and then I think it was Miracle on 34th Street and something else, and I got to go see that, and I actually, oh, oh man, I wish I could, I wish I knew where I put it, but we actually got the poster 
out of that thing because it was a one day event and so we were just like hey um could we like maybe have that poster <laughs> i don't know and they were like yeah yeah sure and now i have that poster and i'm like super stoked about it no it was christmas in connecticut not christmas um miracle on 34th street it was christmas in connecticut that was, that's what it was Unfortunately, you don't get hot chocolate whenever you go to the movie theaters, but dang it, that would be so good. I would love hot chocolate in this movie theater. <sighs> you better start working on that Cinemark at Perkins Row, because you're my favorite, and I want you to be the best that you can be. AMC 16 or O'Neill, I, I never heard of it referred to as 16 until like a day ago, whenever I went and saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. By the way, probably the best Spider-Man film ever, beating out Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire. Like, not even joking, I thought that could never be dethroned, but it was, and it's, oh, it's so good. Even if you aren't like a huge nerd, it's got a good, like, son bonding with his father storyline. So it, it, it's good for the nerd and for the non-nerd as well. 11 out of 10, you should, you should totally check that out. Just, just saying. But make sure you bring your hot chocolate first because <laughs> they don't give you that any hot chocolate at the movie theater. You can get an Icy though, Icy's are pretty good. And the greatest event that happens every Christmas is getting to do things like Christmas Eve with the family. That's always really fun. We do like a gift exchange thing where we, we like drew names ahead of time and then handed each other stuff and uh, we'll, we'll f it's, it's always fun and we'll, fi we'll find out how it goes, but it's, it's really good and it's really fun and I like it a lot because I get stuff and everybody's always really loud and annoying and it's kind of fun to have that as well and I typically get like a board game or a video game that's meant to be played with a lot of people so then I just bring that and then afterwards we're all like, oh cool, playing a new board game, woo! And I'm hoping I get photosynthesis because I think that'll be a really fun board game to play with everybody on Christmas Eve. Hint, hint. You could do SOS with your eyes blinking. It's like do 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 do. Yeah, okay, that's that's really bizarre. Anyways, now I gotta read your guys' answers, and I uh, didn't have those set up beforehand, so let me uh, let me get that. All right, I got your answers right here. And by the way, what are your answers to what is your favorite Christmas party? Answer down below or at ootqcontact at gmail dot com. Yep. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer your questions now. Last week's question was, what are your favorite? Last week's question was, what are your favorite Christmas films? And this is what you said. Sparkle Sprinkle says, number one, Elf. Two, Jingle All the Way. Three, Home Alone. Four, The Grinch. I'm very glad that out of those choices that you have, Elf is at the top. Alexis Flores decided to be a Scrooge and said, except Jingle All the Way, it's terrible. So, um, yeah, just way to crush somebody else's hopes and dreams. At Christmas, no less. About Christmas movies, no less. Like, ouch, that's, that's mean. You're gonna be visited by the ghost of Christmas movies past, present, and future, okay? For that comment right there, for being a Scrooge on Christmas movies. World Backyard Wrestling, which has 488 subscribers, but zero videos, so I don't know what they're about. It says, Elf is my favorite film. It's just so good. And again, I like these people who select Elf because I'm a pretty big fan of Elf myself. I even watched the uh, comment, both commentaries on the selection, the collection of it I have, or the DVD I have, or whatever it is, okay? I have, I watched it three times. Well, more than three times, but I think you understand. Hey, it's Cade says, a video on your answer to small debates like, is A Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas or Halloween movie? Is water wet? Does milk or cereal go first? I made a video on that one. It would be really cool. Great video. Um, okay. So, just to clarify, you're wanting me to make a video debating, is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween or Christmas movie? And if water is wet, and does milk or cereal go first? First of all, if you pour your milk in before your cereal, something's really wrong with you, and you should probably seek help from a psychiatrist and God. Um, second, is water wet? Is H2O water? If so, then water is wet. Also, something is wet because of water. Like, water makes things wet, which inherently means that it itself has to be wet first to make something else wet. And is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas or Halloween movie? Um, just 
Yes, the answer is yes. It is centered around both of those holidays being a major plot point. Movies that, you know, like have, have a moment in Christmas but aren't really focused on Christmas aren't really Christmas films, but movies that have a major plot point be the Christmas time or things that happen during Christmas would more so be considered a Christmas film. Like Home Alone. It's a Christmas film because it is in the Christmas season. That's where it's based around and that's where most of the plot and the plot points happen. Even though the main focus isn't like Christmas and the Christmas joys and spirit and stuff like that. And Cameron Receiver with the best comment, by the way, for this for the single movie, alright? He says, Unaccompanied Minors is a great underwatched one. Also, for the lines, we quote Elf. Just he, he blew it out of the park. He mentioned Unaccompanied Minors. I didn't even mention Unaccompanied Minors. It's amazing and, like, one of the best and most underrated Christmas films ever. If you've never seen it before, go watch it. It has a kid who looks like Jesse Eisenberg, but is not Jesse Eisenberg if he was younger. Because I, I thought he was Jesse Eisenberg for a little while, but then I realized he wasn't and was like, oh, they look really similar if Jesse Eisenberg was younger. But that's just extra information that you don't really need. Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this. Let me know what your answer is to what is your favorite event or holiday or party or something like that down below or at otqcontact at gmail.com and check out one of these videos. And that is all. So, goodbye.